Okay, so the next section is 8-7. It is called Hydroboration of Alkenes. You've learned two different ways to convert an alkane into an alcohol, to add an OH group to across the carbon-carbon double bond. But both of those ways have been Markovnikov addition reactions. So in this section, you're going to learn a third way to add an OH group to an alkene. And this one is going to give you the anti-Markovnikov product, just in case you want to put the OH group onto the other carbon. So this is an anti-Markovnikov addition. This reaction also has no rearrangement, which is usually a good thing. And in this reaction, we're adding a molecule of water again, a hydrogen and an OH group across the double bond, and they go on in a syn addition, meaning that they both go on in the same side, both, um, both from the bottom, both from the top not anti like we had with the hydroboration or excuse me the oxymercuration demercuration so here is an easy example in the generic reaction we'll start with the generic reaction with some random alkene again the lines aren't meant to indicate methyl groups, they're just meant to indicate anything could be there. The reagents that we use for this reaction are uh, BH3-THF complex. So it's BH3 in THF, which is a, which is a good solvent. And, and that's in the first step, you add that mixture of reagents to your alkene. And then in the second step, you do hydrogen peroxide that is basic in terms of its pH. So it's uh, H2O2 with a little bit of OH minus in there. And what you end up doing is adding a water molecule, syn, so they're both on the same side of the molecule, which means that if you have stereochemistry in your product, that's going to make a difference. Here's an easy example that will demonstrate the anti-Markovnikov addition aspect of this reaction. BH3 in THF in step one, basic hydrogen peroxide in step two, and we're going to get the hydrogen not going on to the carbon that has the most hydrogen present, but the other one. So the hydrogen is going to go over here the OH group is going to go on the least substituted carbon for a change. Here's another example. BH3 THF in step one, H2O2 in a base like hydroxide for step two, and we are going to get the OH group going on to the less substituted carbon. Now this isn't a symmetrical molecule, and we've got a couple of stereocenters here. So in this particular case, we do have to pay attention to the stereochemistry of our products. Remember that the hydrogen, which is being added to this carbon, and the OH group are going to go on to the same side. In terms of a three-dimensional drawing, that means that they're both going to be dashes or they're both going to be wedges. So let's draw that out. Let's say that they're both dashes. 
And if this is a dash hydrogen, that means the methyl group that's on that same carbon has got to be a wedge. And then we also are going to produce the enantiomer to this, where the methyl group is a dash and the OH group is a wedge bond. One of those has RS stereochemistry and the other has SR stereochemistry. So they're not the same, not the same product. And I'm not, uh, I didn't show the hydrogen on there, but we certainly can. Let's do a few examples of converting a, pro a reactant to a product. Let's take this al oh, you can't see it. Take this alkene. That is a 2-methyl, two 2-pentene, two and convert it to this alcohol. This is, we're putting the OH group on the less substituted carbon. So this is an anti-Markovnikov addition, which means that our reagents need to be BH3 and THF followed by basic hydrogen peroxide. Here's another example. We're doing one butene converted to one butanol. Again, we are doing an anti-Markovnikov addition. This is the most substituted carbon, but we're putting the OH group onto the other spot. So we're going to use the same reagents, BH3 and THF, followed by H2O2 and OH minus. Even though it seems redundant to just keep writing those reagents out over and over again, it's something that's going to help you uh, memorize them to get that set of four different things into your mind. Here's another reaction. Same, but, uh, one butene converted to two butanol. This is a Markovnikov addition. And this is a reaction that we want to proceed without rearrangement. So we actually have a choice of two different sets of reagents to use. We can do the acid catalyzed addition of water, or we can do the uh, oxymercuration demercuration. Let's be good to the environment and avoid using the mercury. Here's one more example, a little bit more challenging. <clears throat> 